Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing episode four of Making Random Patterns. In this series, I basically just take a pattern that I've already made before and I remake it and try to use a different color scheme than what I used the first time to try to like branch out because I don't like change. So <laughs> all the patterns I make in this video will be linked down below for your convenience if you'd like to access them. I also have some helpful links on how to read patterns and how to make bracelets in general if you need some help with doing that as well. And without further ado, let's just get into the video. All right, we are here. I have my little folder. So we're gonna go ahead and go through these and choose our patterns. So the first pattern, oh my gosh. Okay, so we got this cute daisy bracelet. I made a ton of these for my Etsy like a few years ago. I made like, I want to say like six different color combinations so this will be fun to make again i don't remember what those color combinations were so maybe i can try to make something different this time i don't know we'll see but cute all right the next one is oh my gosh period <laughs> so this is actually my pattern that i made it's not like great <laughs> Like, it's just really basic, but it's this really cute pro-choice pattern. It has sparkles and some flowers on the bottom. This is no longer on bracelet book because they've deleted any like political type of patterns now, which honestly was for the best because these types of patterns were sparking a lot of issues among the community. So I think that was a good decision, but I still love my pattern. I'm pretty positive you can still access this pattern. I believe I do have it on my story highlights on my Instagram. So if you're interested, I think you can still access it there. So yeah, we're gonna make this one. I'm excited. The next one, oh my God, this is so old. Do y'all remember <laughs> when I had these on my Etsy? Girl, why is this in the screenshot? I added it to my to-dos and then took a screen this one i want to say this was part of my initial launch on etsy back in like 2020 would have been yeah that's so crazy i haven't made this in like four years so this would be cute i know the ones i made had a purple background so we will do a different background this time but that'll be so fun oh my gosh all right the next one is oh cute this little new york one i think i just made this for fun these were going around a lot back in like 2020, 2021. I know people made them for a lot of different states, but I think this was actually like the OG, like the first one that was made. I think I can probably make one more. All right, so the last one, I'm gonna try to feel for like a smaller piece of paper. Oh, cute, okay. So this is another bracelet, I guess. We're doing a lot of bracelets, but I guess that's fine. You know, I always make the joke, like you are a Kinsey bracelet, so maybe you should make a bracelet. <laughs> this one is this really cute, like pastel star one. I know I made this one like sometime in like 2022, I think. I think just for funsies, I don't exactly remember. Okay, so we have our five patterns. We're doing the Daisy bracelet, the B bracelet, the pastel star bracelet, and then the New York, keychain and then the pro-choice keychain okay so i'm looking through my expired listings or my sold out listings and i did go ahead and find the daisy one so we have the photos here if they load so we have a sparkly lavender a regular purple a pink one and then we have a lighter blue a kind of royal purple and then a sparkly green. I wanna make a different color that I haven't done yet. Let me brainstorm real quick and I'll get back to you guys. I know I'm definitely gonna need some white and yellow for the flower petals. I could potentially change the color, but I feel like the flowers look like daisies and if I don't do white and yellow, it's just gonna look weird. And I think I'm gonna do this really pale pink for the background. I know it's not the most like revolutionary thing ever, but I just don't really know like what else to do. And I haven't done this specific color, so I feel like it's okay. I don't know. Don't hate me guys. I know it's kind of boring, but not a ton to work with here. So we're gonna just have to go with it. <laughs> Anyways, let's jump into making this one. This bracelet all done y'all this looks so cute i actually just love like the pale pink and the pale yellow i just think this looks so nice 
and it's like perfect for spring. Next pattern is gonna be my pro-choice pattern. So here is the original one that I made and it pretty much just follows the pattern exactly. So we'll have to change it up a bit. So let's go ahead and do that. I decided I'm gonna use this blue for the background. I would have loved to do purple, but I don't really have a lot of purples, which sucks. So I'm gonna be using this blue. It's like a nice muted blue, like grayish blue. And then for the lettering, I'm gonna be using gray, I think. I feel like black is like too harsh and I'm using white for all the sparkles. So I thought this gray would be perfect. And then I'm just gonna use pink for all the flowers this is all scrap thread and i have just like various shades in here so we're gonna kind of just like use all this up and then i also have some green for the stems so yeah let's go ahead and jump into making this one This is actually all that I was able to make because I actually ran out of this background color, the blue, and I don't actually have any more in my collection. I thought that I had enough, but I guess I didn't, so I'm gonna have to go get more. I think I might get this one too. Do I need two packs of bread? No. Do I want them? Yes. So we're gonna get them. I mean, they're only $3, so it's really not that bad, okay? Here is the finished keychain. I actually really like how this turned out. It's really different for me to make a keychain that's not really pink, but I really do like how this one turned out and I think it's really cute. Next bracelet on our list is the Bumblebee bracelet. I'm really excited for this one. This one should be super easy and definitely after the Pro Choice one, I need an easy quick bracelet because that one took me a minute. Here is the B listing. It was just purple background, so we will do a different color this time. Y'all, my photos used to be so cute. Like, she really ate. Look at the press-ons. Like, they were serving. <laughs> So I have my B colors picked out here and for the background I decided to go ahead and use this really nice kind of sage green color. This is the number from DMC if you're interested. I think this will look super cute and springy so I'm really excited. Let's go ahead and jump into making this one. Here is the finished product. You guys, I made this in just a couple hours, which is awesome. I'm really glad that I was able to get this done pretty quick and I do quite like the colors. I think this looks so nice and it's just so cute and springy. And I just really like simpler bracelets like this. I think this is so adorable. I'm not gonna lie, you guys, I struggled for a good minute trying to figure out what color scheme I'm gonna do for this. And I'm still not quite convinced it's gonna look good, but we will try it. I found the New York keychain, so I was correct. It's pretty much just like follows the pattern exactly. So we'll have to change this up a bit. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do yet. So we'll have to figure that out. I did look at variations for this on bracelet book and I found one that I think I like, but I don't have quite the exact color. So I don't know. It'll probably end up looking ugly, but it's okay, we'll try it. I'm gonna be using these two shades for the stripes in the background, pink and blue, and then I'm gonna be using this more like coral shade for the lettering, and then just some white for the sparkles. I don't know why, but I was really having trouble like trying to think of a good color combo for this. I think it'll be cute. I, I really think it will, so let's just get into making this one. Here is 
the finished keychain and oh my gosh this actually came out so much better than i thought it would i am obsessed with the color scheme of this i don't know guys this is just so cute and i might even like this more than the original which is honestly awesome because that's like kind of the whole point of doing this video is to really branch out and do a different color scheme that i wouldn't normally do so this one was definitely a success okay and lastly i have the star one right here so this one's actually the most recent one from 2023 back in october so it looks like i did pretty much just follow the colors on the pattern and i only did four stars instead of five i definitely think i'm gonna do five this time i don't really know how i can change this up too too much maybe like a different background color maybe i'm not really sure yet it was really difficult to try to think of what colors to use for this one but i think i might take a bit of a different approach and i'm actually gonna do kind of more of like an ombre so i'm gonna be doing a blue ombre because i would normally do pink but i'm trying to branch out so we're gonna do blue so i think these are the colors i'm gonna be using for it it was a little hard i feel like this is perfect because everything is kind of like a similar shade they're all muted tones but i don't have a fifth one that really matches so i'm using this bright blue but i think it's not that bad i think it'll work so that's what we're gonna do and then i have all these colors for the star and i'm gonna be doing a white background i forgot to grab that thread so i'll get that but yeah let's go ahead and jump into making this one Here is the finished bracelet. I actually do quite like how this turned out. I definitely think some of these colors look a little bit more green than blue, but regardless, I still think this looks really nice and I actually like this a lot. And with that, this video is complete and here's everything that we made in this video. Okay, well, here is everything that we made in today's video. I feel like everything is so springy and pastel and I just love it so much. Call me lazy, but I don't really feel like going through all the trouble of posting these on my Etsy. So if anyone is interested in purchasing these bracelets, you can definitely just go ahead and shoot me a DM on Instagram or Etsy and I'll work it out. It'll also just be cheaper if I sell them not through etsy because etsy takes out so many fees and stuff so i usually have to price my items higher so i'm actually making like a decent amount i guess but yeah that's gonna do it for me for this video thank you guys for watching i love you all so much and i will see you next time bye